the next movie to get the latest. Yep, saw some articles online with the title saying Venom gets a new release date and a new title. I don't have the actual information on both. So I thought it's only fitting that we react to the Cosmic Wonders video. <laughs> Better get it right this time. I don't want to wake up next year and be like, where's the movie, Warren? Uh, what's funny about that whole Venom 2 situation where like the trailer was supposed to come out, did it, then we did a video with Warren. I think most people picked up on that it was a joke, but there was a lot of people, a lot, especially on social media who were a attacking us while talking to Warren being like why were they so mean and be attacking us personally going there was no reason to be that mean to Warren. I was Warren like, has incredibly low <laughs> self-esteem and he was like you know what just put the video up yeah. I want people to see it. <laughs> thing was outlined it was scripted it was, scripted. It was, it was a skit taking the piss out of it all right <laughs> yeah I don't know what the actual title is yet I thought it was gonna be maximum carnage that just sounded cool no it's and, gonna be homecoming yeah. <laughs> Far from Spider-Man coming into the movie. Let <laughs> him finally leave your home. Oh yeah, and congratulations on finally hitting 550,000 subscribers, Warren. Do we win the PlayStation? How's it going, everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to my channel, The Cosmic Wonder, where we talk about all things Marvel, and today we have some Venom 2 news. Some great news and, unfortunately, some bad news as well, as Venom has officially been pushed back, is no longer going to be hitting theaters on October 2nd of 2020. Surprise, surprise! It's be hitting theaters on June 25th of 2021. That's now, sadly, this interesting. Was Expected release to happen date? Most studios have pushed the release date. June, back. huh? The film's coming up. Happy birthday to me. But as I mentioned, we do have some good news because the official title for Venom 2 has been Let's revealed. See what this is. Today's report comes from Variety.com, and they're the ones who broke the report about Venom being pushed back to next year. And their article so starts off trust. by saying. Sony's Venom sequel, officially titled Venom, Let There Be Carnage, has delayed its screen debut. So, the official title for Venom is I love Venom, it. Let There Be I Carnage. I love it. And honestly, it's a very awesome title. It's not Maximum Carnage, but they've already titled a comic run that. The movie is going yeah, to be a different be take carnage. on Carnage, so it would make sense that the title is different as That's well. That's awesome. But now, everybody's main question That's is, awesome. when Let is the trailer arc. going to get here? Well, sadly, this definitely pushes the trailer release date back a bit. Sadly, a at lot. least a couple of months at the very least because June of 2021 is over a year away. So as far as a teaser trailer for Venom, yeah. Let There Be Carnage is concerned, we probably won't see any until at least we're within a year of the movie coming out. And this is why Sony did not Happy release birthday the trailer to me. before. They were unsure of whether or not they were you going that twice to now. postpone I know, this Venom year we'll get the trailer. Carnage to a later date, which they officially have. So, very sad news, <laughs> but also awesome news that we finally know the official title for Venom to Venom, Let There Be Carnage. What do you think about this title? Let me I think happy birthday, <laughs> <laughs> happy, birthday happy birthday to John. Venom 2, happy birthday John. Congratulating to Venom 2 and of course Marvel. You can follow me on Twitter for live updates and as always, thank you so much for watching. Wolf Wolf. Uh... All right, there we go. Well, let's talk about that title really fast. I love it. I mean, Maximum Carnage sounded like a cool title. Let them eat carnage. <laughs> Let there be carnage, I think, is also a really fun title. Accepting, leaning a bit more in to kind of the goofiness that the first Venom did, because if you guys remember the marketing for that first Venom film, they tried to make it look like this heavy, intense mm. action picture, and then there ended up being a lot more humor and cheesiness to it than we've come to expect. Granted, I would still like Venom 2, especially under Andy Serkis' direction, to implement a little bit more intensity, like some genuine, maybe horror, uh, just a little bit, especially the fact that you got Carnage in there and Woody Harrelson filling in the shoes for Carnage. I just think that would absolutely worth. That being said, mm -hmm. Let There Be Carnage, there's something that feels like so throwbacky about that whole title, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly. It almost reminds me of the tagline from Saw 2, just like, oh yes, there will be blood. It's like a promissory of... Well, that's what I love about what yeah. you're saying is that it feels like a tagline. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it doesn't really exactly. feel like a sequel title. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, which is nice because in a time where everything or a lot of movies get subtitles, I honestly don't tend to like them, and this is one <laughs> instance where I'm like, that's perfect, and it also gets you hyped up to see the character Carnage. It's an introductory type right, line. Right. And it makes me wonder too, I mean, like we said with Andy Serkis, like his Mowgli movie is a lot darker and edgier than say the Jungle Book remake. And so in a sense, that still gives me hope that even if this is rated PG-13, he's still gonna bring some of that like heavy metal savagery. Cause like Maximum Carnage makes me think of heavy metal and Carnage yeah. is already kind of a heavy metal character. But yeah, I doubt this would be rated R, but I can still have yeah. that hope of like, maybe we can push that envelope because Carnage like is a terrifying 
terrifying, savage, just like uncontainable character. Well, I mean, with PG-13, you could really push the lines with violence, but you can't push it with like sexual content. But that won't be necessary. I don't need that in my carnage. <laughs> yeah, that won't be necessary for this one. Let there be carnage, let carnage. I feel like they could still change the title down the road. Let carnage reign. Let carnage be venom. Carnage and the fantabulous emancipation <laughs> of venom. <laughs> one Eddie Brock. One Eddie Brock. Yeah. And that's where we just spin off into Eddie Brock just working for the paper. <laughs> <laughs> and then as far as this new release date goes, honestly, that's a little bit of a baffling release date to me because it was such a box office juggernaut. That's another reason why I know it won't be rated on Because it was, it was such a huge hit when it came out in October. Saying Let There Be Carnage gives an implication that it's leaning a little bit more into some type of horror aesthetic, yeah. to say the least. Yeah. October just seems like a perfect release date to do it. Venom to me just doesn't read like a June release date. I'm sure it'll still make all the money it's gonna make and February is when The Eternals comes out in 2021. Morbius comes out in March, then Shang-Chi in May, then Venom 2 in June, and then Doctor Strange in November. You're jamming these Sony Marvel films <laughs> in in between the MCU movies, so yeah. I guess that strategy fits, and I'm sure that a lot of these studios probably readjusted a lot of their release schedules kind of around what Disney is actually doing. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I, I mean, I wouldn't have mind waiting a little bit longer till October, but I know there's some, I can't remember which movie's right off the dome, I believe Batman is getting released in October. Mm. That fits really that's well. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, I mean, if Batman already took the slot, it just makes, it seems like with Venom 2, it was a little bit strange that Sony announced all these release dates being pushed, but they didn't include Venom 2 in that. And I mm. think that's because this is their most precious property <laughs> that, they, that they know will make a lot of money. It's a weird little yeah. lightning in a bottle. <laughs> because Morbius are like, we're still not 100% sure. There's Ghostbusters Afterlife, but with Venom 2, that's a guaranteed hit. We just need to make sure we're putting in at the right time, especially post pandemic, you know, like when people are able to go out, we want to make sure we're reaping as much profit as possible. So as weird as it seems for me, for Venom 2 to come out in June, I guess business-wise, that makes the most sense. Hopefully Venom 3 goes back to hell. Yeah. Because <laughs> it is perfect for that, and I feel like they'd have more legs during that time, and they wouldn't get swept away by a bunch of other summer flicks, you know? Right, right. What do you think of this Venom 2 title? Do you have any opinion towards the release date? No, I feel like most people don't. I feel like they'll just kind of accept it for what it is. I think people are just so amped to get the movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, make sure to subscribe to the Cosmic Wonder. Thanks, Warren, for putting this together. You're a total jerk. I hate you my whole life. Subscribe to the real rejects make sure to click that notification bell to get notified whenever we got a new youtube video up we also got a discord now thanks to john humphrey over here last but not least let's end this with a <laughs> pete dawn and katie ann i thought it'd be fun for this month that for our patron of the day shout outs we read some fan fiction for a lot of our patrons of what if these two met each other one day and i chose for this one Pete Don and Katie Ann, both people who love to dabble in writing. I'll be playing Pete Don. He'll be playing Katie Ann. Interior coffee shop, afternoon. Pete Don, a handsome man with presumably massive genitals, sits on his laptop. Wait. <laughs> sits in front of his laptop when his eye catches a beautiful, sexy, funny, magnetic woman named Katie Ann who presumably has massive genitals. Pete Don gathers the courage, picks up his laptop, and crosses over to Katie Ann. Mind if I sit? And that's bold of you. I don't meet many men with that level of courage at a Starbucks or coffee bean. Thanks. I've been doing a lot of personal development lately, so I figured I should give it a shot. Pete takes a seat across from her. You're quite revealing with your expositional dialogue. Say you have a laptop in front of you. Are you a writer? In fact, I am. I write a lot of fan fiction. Currently working on 13 novels this year, and I work out. How about yourself? I dabble. What does that mean? Dabble means to immerse one's hands or feet partially in water, then move them around gently, i.e. they dabbled their feet in the rock pools. Oh. I didn't realize you were going to give me the actual definition of what it meant to dabble. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm, I'm great with my words and have a wide range of vocabulary. Vocabulary meaning the body of words used in a particular language. Wow. You really are a writer. I'm Katie. I'm Pete. Wait. That's not right. I'm Pete. I meant I dabble in writing. I, I write a lot of poetry. A great one, I must say. Have you heard of Greg Alba? Oh yeah, he's a YouTuber. With massive genitals. Yeah, yeah, he likes to write about massive genitals. <laughs> yeah, he likes to write about massive genitals a lot too. He's a big fan of my work. You know, 
You remind me of my mother. I like that compliment because I'm very close with my mom. Speaking of mothers, I'm working on a story about Pamela Voorhees, Jason's mother from Friday the 13th. Oh yes, I relate with that character quite a lot. You do? I'm kidding, I, I have a dark sense of humor and many sweaters. <laughs> uh, Greg is still unsure whether or not if I have a dark sense of humor when he wrote this, hence the lack of back and forth here that could lead to some additional chemistry. Yeah, I think my mother-like qualities have made me a great teacher. Oh really, what do you teach? Greg doesn't remember. Say, I could use your help with writing this story. What's it about? It's a fan fiction story about two patrons from the Real Rejects who met in a coffee shop one day and have instant chemistry. Pete slides a laptop over to her and she quickly reads it. It doesn't sound very good. No, the dialogue is terrible and Greg could have done a lot more research. Just having a hard time thinking of a proper ending. Pete leaves the table to battle the dragon and never sees Katie again. The end.